hello guys and welcome back to a new video in today's video we're gonna talk about this lip gloss this is the kiko milano 3d 3d hydra lip gloss and this is what it looks like so today we're gonna talk about packaging the formula the price what i think about it and everything so let's get started so today we're gonna talk about this kiko milano 3d hydra lip gloss it looks like this i really love the packaging it's so sleek and unique this is all plastic and you can see here that it looks really cool like metallic and this is the color number 10 so this is what it looks like on the back side the packaging also outside of this lip gloss comes in like a black matte packaging i already threw that away a couple of weeks ago but what it looks like and now i'm gonna swatch it for you guys so this is what the application looks like it has like a dope app applicator just like a normal lip gloss it's really handy because it's kind of bent as you guys can see so the application is really easy to do so now i'm gonna so this is what the lip gloss looks like on it gives a little bit of color and I will also swatch it on my hand for you guys to see what it looks like on my hand so this is with one swatch it looks super super smooth I really love that it's like glitter and that it gives a little bit of color when you are putting it on and they also have these this in 30 different colors so there's a wide, wide selection so you can choose a lot and this also has a little bit of fragrance to it it smells kind of sweet and but it doesn't taste anything so that's really nice so this is what the packaging looks like as you can see there are really like chunks of glitter in it and that also shows on the lips as you can see so it's like super shiny and when you are kind of doing this it's not sticky at all which I really like so this is what it looks like on my hand still and I like that it doesn't dry out the lips as lip gloss shouldn't do so overall I'm super super happy with this lip gloss it is a bestseller on the Kika Milano website this is not sponsored or anything it's just my review on it and what I think about it I think the packaging is super sleek I think it's so cool and really innovative a lot of my lip gloss looks like this this is from L'Oreal Paris and this is uh, the color Extreme Resist 503 all night long and this is what this packaging looks like so these are these two are really similar but out of these two this is cheaper and also a little bit better in the formula in, in my opinion I like this one a lot more compared to the L'Oreal one but as you can see the color is really similar this one is a little bit more pink and this one is a little bit more red and these are the two that I use the most at the moment out of the lip glosses I have but yeah you can also see what the L'Oreal Paris looks like so as you can see it's super similar but it doesn't come out as smooth as the uh, Kiko Milano one as you can see a little bit patchy a little bit more see-through and the applicator is a little bit different so I'm just comparing the two now because those are the two that I have at the moment the applicator on this is also super handy because you can really get like in there and the smell of this is a little bit uh, more subtle than the Kiko Milano one yeah so these are the two lip glosses that I have the L'Oreal one is 10 euros and this uh, Kiko Milano one is 8 euros the Kiko Milano usually have a 30% off or 20% off discount uh, quite frequently which I really like so I think this brand is really underestimated I wish that there were more people who would review this product because yeah i haven't seen that many reviews on it so i thought i would do a review because i love doing makeup reviews and i think it's really cool that this brand is so uh, affordable and also great i really love the formula on it so i'm gonna give this a five out of six because i really love the formula everything about it basically i love the only thing that i wish that it wouldn't i don't know if you guys can see it but it's like 
scrapes on the packaging from lying a little bit in the bag so it gets like you know on the phone you get like yeah you can see the scrapes on the packaging so it doesn't stay really nice but that's okay and I love the price I love that it is really affordable 8 euros for a really good lip gloss is so good the only thing I would say is that it is like I wish that they also had like a mini version that would be super super cute like this one is not really really big but still quite big so that's the only reason why I would love a mini version out of this and I love the color range that they have that is um, accessible I will put a picture right here so you guys can see how many colors that they have I think it's so cool that this brand inclusive and also diverse that you can choose and have a lot of options Kiko Milano is really underestimated I think and the L'Oreal one is also really good but I think the Kiko Milano one is a little bit better this is the one that I reach for the most if I know that I want to have a long wear ring uh, and grey lip gloss I also know that I also noticed Kiko Milano one also stays really nice so when I am when I am taking it off and then been eating and a little bit of like drinking and stuff still a little bit color on the lip doesn't like smudge off that easily like all over the place like I said I really love the formula on this I would recommend it to anybody who is looking for a good lip gloss and is wondering what I'm using I'm also I also reviewed the Fenty Beauty lip gloss so if you want to see that video it's coming soon or it's already published you can just check my channel that was basically what i had for this review what do you guys think of it what do you guys think of the packaging is this a product that you really want to test out and thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel that would mean the world to me and i'll see you in the next one bye guys